A hypothesis is tested Thanks. by experimentation. An experiment is a scientific procedure carried out according to certain guidelines. An experiment enables scientists to test each variable that might prove or disprove the hypothesis. A variable is a factor in an experiment that can be changed. An experiment set up to test a variable is called a controlled experiment. To ensure that only one variable is tested in an experiment, scientists will also run a control. The control will have the same conditions as the experiment, except for the variable being tested. For example, to test the effects of sunlight on a green plant, a scientist will grow two identical plants. To control the experiment, the scientist would vary the amount of sunlight reaching one plant while keeping the amount of sunlight constant on the other plant. The scientist would then observe both plants and record the observations. What is the variable in this experiment? In the study of earth science... Yes, he well, did. They did it, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Did what? The only thing my wife did was read word for word what the textbook says. We included the pictures of the textbook so you could follow along and read for yourself. Oh. They're, they're applying one particular type of experiment to another type of an experiment. So when you say they, you must be referring to none other than the authors of the textbook. They're comparing, yeah, they're, they're comparing apples to oranges here. Uh, see see that, that kind of rule that they just made up is not true. You, there, are, there are plenty of experiments. Controlled experiments are just one kind of experiment. The rule the textbook made up is not true? Congrats at thinking for yourself and directly disagreeing with the textbook. <laughs> uh, many experiments, many experiments we talk about all the time don't have controls or don't need controls. That, that is a style or a type of experiment uh, for, for some sort of uh, quantifiable predictability. Whether a picture represents a flat or not flat horizon doesn't require you know, any precision. No. And it doesn't require an independent variable. No. All not. right. It's an observation based against a standard and it's a comparison. All right. That is still an experiment. It's just a different type of an experiment. So. Again, why, why do they make this distinction? And notice that she did not make the distinction that QE makes, and that is that the experimenter must personally wiggle the variable. Again, they in this case must be none other than the authors of the textbook. All right. They just talk about it being changed, which is in reality how you deal with an independent variable. It's something that changes, and you measure the effect of that change against something else. All right. You don't have to personally move it. That's, why, that's the entire basis that they claim that seismology, for example, is not a science because the experimenter didn't create the earthquake. All right. This is designed not to increase truth or prevent scientists from fooling themselves, which is the purpose of the scientific method. It's designed to exclude evidence that's the contrary of your narrative. This being the textbook? You are saying the textbook is designed not to increase truth? Bravo.